What's up guys, Sean from SRKCycles.com And it's that moment that you realize your bike is falling over And it's happening in slow motion and you realize there's nothing you can do to stop it Oh no, it's falling over And you say to yourself, you're like, this is not happening And the truth is, it's not happening This is how the kickstand is What the heck and I look, there's nothing's broken. That's how someone wanted this bike to be. Half falling over all the time. I don't know, it's not my thing. But I'll tell you what, other than the, bike always, other than the bike's always falling over like that, this thing runs really, really well. Choke, look, cold start, I'm touching the exhaust, it's cold. Turn the key. Make sure fuel's on. Bam! That's impressive. This is a 1983 Harley XLH. XLX? XLS? I don't know. Uh, 1000. 1983, and uh, I'm pretty impressed with how it runs. That's uh, if you're looking for like a cool, a cool older Harley project, but not so much of a project that you can't ride it. Hey, this could be a great bike for you. And you don't even have to make it a project; you just ride it the way it is because it runs good and actually looks pretty good. The tank's been all painted and stuff. Guys, I'm gonna sell this bike for 2200 bucks. It's cheap, I know. I know it's cheap. You know it's cheap. I like to sell bikes. You like to buy bikes. We should get together. Really impressed. I mean, this bike was this bike was made before I was born, and it still runs good. I know I have no service history, no nothing on this bike. All I know is that after sitting for a while, when you. Uh, Pull the choke on, put the choke on, press that button, make sure the fuel's on. This bike fires right up, and that's very impressive to me. Not a lot of old Harleys do that. Very impressed with the way this bike runs. Oh, now it is spitting and sputtering a little bit. Make sure the fuel's on. Also need to make sure it has fuel in it. Either way, super impressed. This bike's amazing. And for 2200 bucks, for a Harley that fires up and runs, it's really hard to beat that. And a lot of times if a bike's like this is a spit in its butter a little bit, it just needs ran. 
This needs cleaned out a little bit. sound to it. While well, other guys are doing a bunch of weird stuff to get their own Harleys to fire up. And you know what I'm talking about. Holding the choke out for decades and probably, you know, twisting the throttle five and a half times. Facing north. Praying to Mecca. You know, all the, you know, this weird stuff like they're like now now the bike will fire up and by that point the battery's dead you're rolling up with your old Harley and you're just like crack snapple pop bam and you're off alright guys this wraps up the test drive of my 80 something Harley something I'll see you guys later Remember, it's not what you're riding, but where you're going.